Hello family and friends. Today we're going to be using some pink petunias and uh, we're going to be putting uh, different flowers to fill in areas. Um, we're going to brighten up some shady areas and we're going to have an elephant ear update. Hope you enjoy. Janice has been going all out with pink this year. You got a 12 pack of these little uh, petunias with the uh, small root balls. Uh, they're pretty good for quick planting and uh, touching up areas. Um, She's been using them to uh, fill in uh, small areas on her pots, like on these uh, tall pots here with the lantern in there. There's a little bit of room, and she wants these flushed, flooded with color. Uh, we already have the white in there, and this uh, pink, pink and white mix is going to be nice. So she's just going to be going around to different pots, and um, oh, I got soil on top of these. Uh, flowers so she's shaking the shaking the soil off as she goes and this little gap here she's going to put in one of these small pink petunias this little 12 pack here got a good deal on those and just going around uh breaking up some of this white with the pink got the quarter line in there for the centerpiece for height and she's going to clear out a little section to put these pink in as you can see the white petunias are doing really well and i think that uh these ought to do fine together they have the same uh care requirements and this is going to fill this pot right on up and the thing about it she just wanted to to close up a few areas uh, with some color and you can see the uh, caliber cores are there. They're just close to that same color that she's putting in now, but the blooms are smaller. See there on the right, the little teeny uh, pink. They're like a miniature petunia. They require the same uh, care. Uh, some some uh, caliber cores require more sun. And this pot here gets plenty of sun. And in the evening, it gets um, filtered sun. Now after, hold on, it gets, uh, yeah, it gets plenty of sun, and then after 12, it gets uh, shade. So they should do just fine here in this area. Just got to make sure that they're watered good because there's a lot of flowers in here, and it's going to be a little root competition with that uh, quarter line. Got the creeping Jenny hanging on the front. Look at that. And that closed that area right on up. Have our hello sign. Uh, she, we added some uh, designs on the letters with a little tiny uh, white paintbrush. And that's the entrance. This bed here is on the back corner of the house and it gets sun all day. Now, this area here is where one of the dianthus died. I'm just going to close it up with this basket of geraniums. We have uh, vincas on the perimeter and next to the fence, the ice plants. And that vertical um, plant, that's a lavender. A couple of big ferns on the next to the uh, driveway to block off actually it's just a border to get a little texture and some movement over there we have uh our hydrangea which is going to be getting part sun part shade uh, these are the pots that we made um a week ago and these are these caliber cores are really blooming the uh, lysianthus in here going to uh, add some more soil so that they can stand up good and the geraniums now these top two are about spent we'll be cutting that off down here i guess got to get some clean um pruners or either some clean scissors and you can see that there's blooms already coming up so once i cut 
these taller uh, flowers off. When I cut those taller flowers off, they, the other blooms will speed up. We went ahead and put in the other hydrangeas. These are the tuxedo uh, hydrangea, and they can handle some sun or shade. In the bed with the uh, Thailand giant. We went with the hydrangeas uh, so that we don't have to keep uh, putting in annuals every year. Now, if we want to go between them, we can with a different color. So tuxedo hydrangeas, uh, they're good for containers and gardens, part sun to shade, and they are going to do good this year. This is our first time using these um, because when I think of a hydrangea, I'm thinking shade. Look at the detail on this uh, Thailand giant. As we look between the veins, you see the swirls are starting to be more noticeable. And right now this is uh, waist high. Um, I guess I can say it's three and a half, four feet. I'll say three and a half feet tall right now. You see that new leaf coming out. So it's steady and it's growing <laughs> and performing well some of the leaves look a little yellow at the bottom but we're going to put in some more fertilizer and keep this thing good and watered we have some garden flocks on the front and they're just st starting to bloom to this bloom at the top their blooms kind of look like the uh the hydrangea bloom but it's a a vertical a plant with vertical habit, and it just has blooms at the top. Now, the daisies here, we went around the outside, the perimeter of this bed, and we have two types of uh, elephant ears here. This is the upright um, alocasia. You see that the leaf points upward, and look at those swirls between the veins. Beautiful. This was just watered, and it just looks so fresh looking. And these are uh, some more Thailand giants. You see, those are colocasia, and the leaves point downward. We have our rosemary on the entrance here. And as you come in to the left, we have the colocasia with the leaves pointing down. We have uh, daisies around the perimeter. And this is going to have uh, plenty of blooms. You see the blooms are starting to open up. And as the summer progresses the more blooms. So once it starts getting warmer out here, you will see these open up. We just make sure that we keep them watered. And every little dot that you see, that's going to be a bloom. That's another entrance there. We got to move that light. And look at all these dots down there in that plant. The elephant ears are doing good. I'm glad that we got a chance to do this update. Because these are going to get bigger than this. And I'm going to take you along on the journey so you can see the progress. Absolutely beautiful. You see the hand size, the size reference for my hand. And over here, uh, these aren't as big. Let's see. They look huge on the screen, but look, see. Now this one is only like hand size with more leaves coming up i tell you what there's no shortage of leaves on these um elephant ears and happy with what i'm seeing got the fire pit uh the pink tricycle she's gonna have plants in the back of that uh trailing over the back probably a basket in the front we got some new blue chairs put on the fire pit and the diplodinias there everything is doing good uh, we've got the red coleus in the middle there and the black elephant ears now these seem small i was trying to remember how fast they grew last year but i'm just gonna fertilize them and get some more performance out of them and if you like this content um I invite you to subscribe so that you can get all of our videos and if you hit the notification bell we'll let you know when they're being posted that's a last look at these uh caladiums the white pearl caladium with the green margin 
and the flare caladium with the splashy red dots. Enjoy your day.